Hi guys, Gord here. We're going to show you how to take some of my patented Gord's Polish, 4 out steel wool, and a red shop rag. Remove all this heavy burned out oil just to show you how powerful the cleaner is. We're going to polish this out by hand, and then we're going to use a low RPM buffer process to help you show you how to bring it to the next level. Take some 4 out steel wool, apply Gord's Polish very well. Just start giving it a good scrubbing. This is going to take a little bit of polish at first, but you don't have to use any acids or pre cleaner to cut through the oil. I like to give it a real, real good scrubbing. I know I have all the oil off of it. This is going to take two red shop rags, one to wipe off this haze. But just to show you, Gore's is a very powerful cleaner. Extremely powerful. It's a cleaner, a polish, and a sealer all in one. Second I'm going to do is take a red shop rag some Gore's Polish, fold it over the size of my hand, quarter it up, apply some polish to it. Looks like a lot, but I'm going to do the whole tank at one time. Just to show you what I've done in about a minute and a half, I like to let it dry. For about a minute and a half, two minutes worth of work, it's not a bad start. Come back to take a land, uh, wool buffing pad with a Velcro backing plate, take some Gore's polish, apply some polish right to the center of the pad. Turn this down to about 600 RPMs. Get a low buff. A wet buff is better than a dry buff. When it's dry, it's not doing nothing. This is the process to use on pontoon boats, air streams, large trailers, like Taste America trailers, Wall Fargo. You want to polish up the diamond plate, you want to polish up all the aluminum screws. This is the way to go. overlapping what you're doing, working it back and forth. As you can see, I'm still pulling product out of the pad to this world. This has got some heavy acid burn right here. I'm going to have to restore. You want to bring it out to a little bit higher. Instead of applying polish with the steel wool, just keep reapplying it like this. When it's hot, when it's warm, I mean when it's cold, uh, when the wind's blowing, this is the process to use. If you want to bring it out to a higher shine, you can eventually turn it up a little bit. This will help bring out the luster faster. When working Gore's polish, make sure the polish stays in a, in a wet form. When it dries out, it does nothing but what we call burnishing. You do not want it to do that because you're not doing nothing after that. Such as what I got going right here. You want to eliminate that quickly. Take a little bit of polish, put it on a rag. Come back, just give it a light wipe. I'm not really polishing, I'm just kind of wiping the, 
a polish out of the creases. Come back with another microfiber towel, and I hit it again. So all the polish that's in these voids and on these scratches right here doesn't stick. What my son likes to do, he likes to come up and show you how well the sealer works too. So afterwards, you can see how Gorge just beads up. Gorge is a powerful cleaner, polish, and sealer, all in one. This is a chemical reaction sealer. When you're running it on pontoon boats, make sure above the water line it'll stay like this. Below the water line it'll yellow and discolor slightly. But enjoy. Thanks for coming to Gorge where you get a mirror shine every time.